Hey everybody, thanks for checking this out. Um, I wanted to do a quick recording on how we will do a green sheet, uh, which will now take place in command. So instead of going to dot loop or my KW, you will go here into command instead. Uh, most important to note, you will have to have followed the process as I've laid out so far. So you will need to make sure that you've created an opportunity for your client or your contact in command. And that's what we're about to click into in order to um, basically do the green sheet. So I'm going to walk through that now. Um, in order to do that, you're going to want to go, obviously, log into your command. I've already logged into mine. Once you are logged into command, we're going to click directly into opportunities. So you'll see I expand that menu. And I'm going to click right into opportunities. OK. So once you do that, it's going to take you into the opportunity section. You're going to want to look for the tab at the top of the screen that says All Opportunities. OK. So I'm going to click All Opportunities. If you've been following along with some of my recordings so far, you'll see that uh, one of my examples is already in here. Um, and I've already created a new opportunity for a, a listing with uh, Donald Duck. So that's going to be the example that I walked through today. So you're going to want to click on whatever opportunity it is that you're doing the green sheet for. So I'm going to click into Donald. And you'll see that takes you into the opportunity itself. So if you've been following along, you'll see there's some tabs here at the top. Um, chances are you've spent a lot of time in the Documents tab. Today we're going to go to the Offers and Commissions tab, which is right next to that. Um, if you're doing a rental or uh, working with a tenant, anything like that, I believe this will change to just uh, commissions instead of offers and commissions. It will do the same thing. Okay, So I'm going to click Offers and Commissions. And if this is your first time doing one, you're gonna see, uh, your screen is probably going to look a little bit like mine. You're not going to have anything in here. What we're going to do is we're going to click Add New Offer. So basically what this section will do is if you have multiple offers for a property, It'll actually allow you to put in the information from those different offers to be able to kind of compare and contrast and see the difference uh, you know, between those offers. Um, but again, for the purposes of getting you guys you know, up and running and comfortable with the tool, really you're probably just going to come to this point in order to set everything up for your green sheet, which is what we're going to walk through now. Okay? So when you do that, you're going to come in here and you're going to click Add New Offer. So think of it this way, the offer that you're adding is basically the final, the, the final price, the final information, everything that you would already do to submit for a green sheet. Okay? So we're going to click Add New Offer. And first it's going to have ask you what you would like to call it. So I recommend um, if it's for a listing or a buyer, um, in that case, you know, the, I, Donald Duck here is, is for a listing, maybe you want to put um, probably the property address. Again, this is just for you to be able to keep track of it. So in that case, I'm going to make one up here. I'm going to do 3 Main Street. Again, just for the purposes of remembering it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a name and click Create Offer. Okay. From here, we're going to follow these steps all the way through. Just fill in as much information as you can. If you're on, not sure of any information, you can leave some of it blank. It will allow you to continue. Anything that is required before you hit the next step, it will inform you of what you still need to include. Okay. So right off the bat here, we have our offer details. Here's the version name we gave it. We then have offer date and close date. So if by clicking this, you can change the date. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this today's date. And let's say the close date is going to be um, in January. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Parties. That's going to take me to this section, which will allow me to enter the um, buyer and seller inf information for this um, transaction. So in this case, the seller is Donald Duck. You'll see some of his information is already here. Um, you're going to want to put the buyer. So let's say, do Betty Booth. Again, all that's required is the information that has an asterisk. So for the purposes of showing you this example, I'm not going to fill in any of this other information. It's not required. Um, but if you have it recommended, you know, go ahead and include it um, and drop it in. Toward the bottom, you'll then have the representation for the buyer and the seller. So obviously, um, in this example, I'm uh, acting as the, the listing agent. 
And then next to that, uh, you would put the buyer's information, buy, buyer's agent information. So let's just say uh, John Smith is the buyer's agent. Okay. If everything's good, you will then hit the green box at the bottom, the, which will take you to the next step, which is terms, which is what we're going to go to now. This is the part that I would recommend you fill in as much information as you can um, about the transaction. Again, this will all populate it, so it makes the green sheet a bit easier for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to put in some of these terms. Uh, let's say they put down um, 50000 in cash. Maybe they financed uh, 430 and The final sales price being 480000 um, earnest amount, maybe we'll just, again, I'm just going to drop in some numbers here so you can kind of see how it starts populating this information for you. So earnest amount, 2%, uh, option fee, again, just throwing in some numbers so you can see the final result. Termination option, if there is one, if not, just leave that as zero. And then, of course, seller costs as well. If there aren't any, feel free to leave those blank, not required at this point, okay? So again, I'm going through it pretty quick here. Um, we're then going to hit agent analysis. That's going to take you to the last step here, which will allow you to add some pros, some cons, and some notes about that offer. But again, if you don't have any, it's not required, and there's no need to include it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. OK. So basically, what we just did is we just created that offer, which again, if you're getting to this point, is going to kind of be the the offer, or the, the final offer that you're using for your green sheet. So you would just plug in all your information, uh, you know, that would be populated for the green sheet. Okay. So we've added this offer. Once you add the offer, you'll see you have the option to either accept or reject it. So you can add multiple offers, but since we're only doing this one, this is the one that we're using for the green sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. Okay. What that does is that informs the MCA office that an offer has been accepted, that it is beginning the process, that this will be used ultimately for the green sheet. And so what happens is when you hit accept, it then changes this. So it allows you to either change the response, response or manage commission. So now is the time you're going to want to go ahead and hit manage commission. Here's where we start filling in the information for the green sheet. From here, it actually does a lot of the work for you. It's pretty simple. It, it kind of walks you through and fills it out. Okay. So again, for this example, we already populated some of that information. We have the sales price. We have our commission rate, total commission, total units. Um, looks like we need to include the contract date. We have the close date, D and DAID will be left blank. Um, if you need to edit any of this information, it'll let you do this right here. You can click Edit General Information, and it'll allow you to change any of this info that you need to. So for example, I know I need to include the contract date, so I'll make sure that I drop that in and hit Save Changes. Okay, It's pretty simple, not too much to change here. Scrolling down a bit, you will see it actually gives you a really nice breakdown down here of how your payment will be processed. So you'll see command already recognizes what your cap is, what your split is. Uh, so in this case, you know, for this example, cap of 32,000, um, you know, royalty fees included right there as well. So as you do these transactions, it'll actually inform you in real time how much you have left to pay toward those. Or in this case, if you've capped and you're receiving 100% of your payment. If you need to change any of this information, You'll see it allows you to click Edit Agent Payment. Not too much you can change here. Obviously, it shows your agent name, the units, your gross commission. Um, this will also allow you to put in any donations you would like to make to KW Cares, KW Kids, the Bold Scholarship, anything like that. You can also, toward the bottom, add in any extra payments, such as referrals, bonuses, deductions, or concessions. You'll just click Add Item and kind of follow the process here to add in any of those other uh, pieces of information. So, you know, maybe you have an outside referral that needs to be done. You can then start plugging in that information as well. So I know I'm going through this quick, but it is kind of a just fill out on a as needed basis. Um, again, if you run into questions, reach out. I'll walk you through it. But this part 
um, is fairly similar to uh, what was being done with the green sheets in my KW. Okay. But what's nice about this again is it gives you that summary as to what your split will actually be, what you will actually get paid. One other important thing before I show you how to submit this uh, to be processed, you will also see next to payment, there is a button that says add another agent or add co-broker payment. Probably not going to use the co-broker one um, all that often, if ever, um, but you might have an instance where you are working with another agent. Um, you know, whether again, it be, uh, you know, it was referred, anything like that, you can actually click add another agent and it'll allow you to put in that information for them as well. If they are tied in with this particular, um, this particular, uh, uh, you know, payment. And so again, it's going to be the same as before. You're just going to go ahead and fill out that information as needed, the units, the commission, et cetera. Um, but for the most part, if you're doing this for yourself, then this is, you know, kind of the last step in the process. You have everything completed. Your compliance is correct and ready to go. Just basically by filling out some of this, this initial information, it'll populate uh, most of that for you. So again, very similar to what was being done with green sheets in my KW. You're, you're filling in kind of that agent information. You're filling in some of the details of the transaction, the closing date, um, you know, donations, anything like that. And then once you fill that out and it looks good, all you're going to do is hit this button that says submit, which I'm going to do right now. If anything is missing, so in this case, a listing is required for this opportunity type, please attach a listing to continue. So of course, uh, because I created this on the fly, I didn't have my listing attached to it. Chances are when you guys get to this point, you will have that connected. But if you do receive this option, you can just select the listing from the top of the screen here. Um, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay. Again, just going to go ahead and select this. Not too concerned with what I select. Okay. And submit. So again, it'll also remind you right before you submit that you can also make donations as well in case you forget or haven't. You can also hit skip if you would like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit skip for this one. And that's really it. Um, it'll say commission successfully uh, submitted. Uh, the MCA office will log in on their end, double check, make sure everything is correct. And then they'll use this information that you submitted to process your check. Um, there's really nothing else that you're going to need to do. If something is incorrect with your commission, they will have the option to return your commission or your offer, uh, sorry, your commission. Um, if that's the case, they will be able to provide a note within command telling you what needs to be changed or adjusted. Um, and all you would do is log back in and make any updates by clicking any of these edit uh, buttons, um, which of course, because we just submitted this, they're now grayed out. But you would be able to come in and make any of those changes as needed. So I wanted to go through this real quick. Again, I'm going to be teaching this really in greater detail come January, um, especially as people really start getting ramped up. This is the last step in the entire process. But I wanted to make sure that we had something that I could point you guys to in the meantime. Um, we will be switching over to this in full, using this as the way to um, commission checks uh, beginning January 1st. Okay. Um, so as always, if you guys have any questions, please give me a call, uh, shoot me a text, and we'll walk through it. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for jumping on, everybody, and be on the lookout for some other shorter videos like this, kind of quickly walking through a lot of the, the things that you guys have some questions on. Okay. All right. Have a good one.